Over 200 years ago, the village of Chance Cove sat on the edge of Newfoundland, isolated from civilization. It is said that the residents of this fishing village preferred privacy, and some even say this allowed the town to get away with murder. On today's episode of Never Stop Learning, we will be checking out the ghost town of Chance Cove. In the 1800s, a delivery man, who was one of the few that the community allowed to enter the fishing village, stopped by to deliver supplies to the rural settlement. As he rode his horse down the main street in town, he found it odd that no one was up and about. He finally arrived at his destination, but still no one came out to claim his cargo. He began to go from house to house in search of anyone from the community, but was met with only silence. Having heard the rumors over the years about Chance Cove being haunted, he quickly packed up his things and left. The town folk, it was later discovered, had truly abandoned their village in a mass evacuation. They all walked to the closest port and boarded a ship to America. They never spoke of why they left and they took the details of what drove them away to their graves. The inception of the town's haunted history dates back to 1863, when the Anglo-Saxon, a steamship used to bring people to the Americas, struck the shore near Chance Cove. The crew tried to get the 444 passengers off the ship, but only managed to save 97, with everyone else drowning when the ship broke apart and was swallowed by the sea. Over 100 bodies washed ashore and were buried on the coast, while the rest were never found. Chance Cove was settled soon after and became a fishing village. Shipwrecks became a common occurrence near this village, and rumors quickly spread that the people of Chance Cove were responsible. It was said that the town folk would light large bonfires along the coast to confuse ship's navigators. When the ships ran aground, the town folk would storm the vessels and murder everyone aboard. They would then take everything of value and discard the rest. Legend has it that the dead didn't appreciate this treatment and would rise every night to torment the people of Chance Cove. Disembodied wails and cries would erupt throughout the town until the people had finally had enough. Now the village of Chance Cove has been turned into a provincial park, and all that remains are a few burnt-out foundations that have been swallowed up by the forests. Locals have reported hearing ships' bells and cries of people drowning if they are too close to the ghost town after the sun goes down. What do you think? Would you be able to spend a night camping out near Chance Cove? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of Never Stop Learning. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow for another Shocktoberfest video.